data dictionary in oracle in this tutorial we can we just want to see how do we use data dictionary in oracle database so data dictionary structure there are four kinds of data dictionary structure one is user the purpose of user prefix users view what is in your schema what you own means that a user how many tables and how many objects and the user own so we can use to see the detail about users own information by using the user prefix and then all all prefix what you can access a user a user uh, they can access multiple objects but uh, if you if if they want to or if you want to see how many objects you are uh, accessible those information we can see by using this all prefix dba database administrators view what is in everyone evidence schema dba prefix only use used by database administrator so and the final option is vitor performance related data so these four kinds of uh, prefixes we can use for our data dictionary structure and then uh, we can use very easily for our um, tables structure so let's go to uh, scale developer this is a scale developer here uh, we just want to uh, select a dictionary select a straw from dictionary This is dictionary. So if we run this, execute this uh, uh, SQL here, table and comments. Here we can see multiple table information, uh, tab uh, table, uh, table, uh, table name here. So each table name that contains multiple information. So if we consider uh, the user objects table name equal user objects we can query um, by using where plus so user objects user objects just user objects so here we can see one table user objects user objects owned by the user so if we describe the user objects is and describe the set uh, uh, user object describe what disk then we can see the possible information on that uh, user objects table using the data dictionary so if we select star from user objects then we can see here yeah, everything here we can see the tables and other information like pri um, primary key sequence and synonyms so user objects if we uh, want to see the where the table and when the table was created all the information gathered in user of uh, objects uh, table data dictionary table so here we can see lots of information that contains user objects table so if we uh, execute the 
dictionary table and here we can see user tables also if we uh, describe the user uh, table here we can see lots of information so uh, i think if we select this user uh, user tables here we can see the tables information or how many tables those are uh, owned by the user if we uh, filter by using table name here we can see employees table and here uh, we can see the lots of information when and how the table is created was created so here we can uh, see all tables or single tables so again i just want to select the dictionary and here we can see user objects is a table user objects ae and so i just want to uh, select another one another uh, data dictionary table also so uh, if i want to see the table columns information or how many uh, how many columns are available in a table so it can be possible by using data dictionary table so if I uh, go to if I go to the um, if I go actually lots of information so I need to uh, precisely filter user tab columns yeah this uh, this uh, data dictionary table contains how many columns are available in a table or all the columns in the table if i execute this the tab columns table name here we can select this one and i just want to see how many informations are available in user tab columns select as from user tab columns if we execute this line and after uh, executing this i just want to see how many informations are available in user tab comments columns uh, actually yes here we can see table name columns and other information so if I, I just want to clear some the previous results here we can see the latest one okay just uh, here we can see a uh, table name column stamps and data types also so if i execute by using a table name i just want to give the table name employees we can see uh, we, we also set another table name here so if i execute this uh, query snippet this is the table name employees and how many columns are available columns name and data types and others information we can see in this query result so by using we will see the informations of uh, tables columns so i just want to see how many constraints are available in a table or in a database so in a schema it uh, can be possible by using user constraint tables here we can see user constraint firstly i just want to see the description of user constraints table disk user constraints if i execute i just want to clear uh, the previous results first you can see table uh, table name also so 
Similarly, I just want to copy the previous uh, query snippet and just replace it with um, user constraint. Okay, if I run or execute this uh, query snippet, here we can see the employee table and here we can see the uh, constraint names or how many constraints are available in our employees table and when the table was uh, table constraint was created all those information we can see by using the user table constraints here we can see all possible constraints in a uh, acer schema so if i uh, count here we can see 10 constraints are available in employees table uh, so um, in this way we can um, uh, find the constraints information from um, by using data dictionary table of user constraints so here yeah, we can also see all information instead of users prefix so this is the uh, constraints I just want to see there's a uh, constraints information here here we can see uh, table name uh, if I copy the previous uh, query snippet and here I just want to replace with uh, user cons columns means that if we execute this uh, query snippet we can see employee table and constraints uh, table uh, column uh, table constraints by using column name so user cons column means a column with constraints and what is the name of our constraint name so in this way we can see we can we, we can find the uh, constraint and column name of a table so if if uh, some if you want to see the all information of cons column cons columns dictionary data dictionary we can see the same results because we already set the user uh, employee table um, name in where was so result will be the same here we can see all possible uh, constraints name those are so similarly we can see that uh, we can replace the uh, um, prefix of uh, user and see all possible uh, constraints by using all prefix here we can see all uh, prefixes So in this way we can um, find the um, we can find the possible and uh, directionary tables information so thank you so much for your watching this video